What's up guys, Rich Duperbash, and I'm out at a buddy Aaron's gravel pit and we're just gonna give a quick run. Um, I'm running my Creighton 6S. He's gonna be running his Italian 6S and uh, we're just gonna check this place out for the first time. Oh, nice. There goes my body. All right, guys. Well, old yellow has got a big chunk missing, so I think I'm going to put on a do a quick body swap. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's easy to go full send off this thing. Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, guys, this place has some absolutely mad potential. Just gonna need to rake it, rake some stuff out. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think there's a rock in there, dude. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Uh, huge shout out to Aaron for bringing me out here. Uh, hopefully we'll get back out here to this spot again sometime. Uh, but I got to say the Creighton did absolutely awesome. Uh, I didn't break a single part out here. Uh, the M2C chassis is still perfectly straight. 
Uh, so anyway, I'll look the truck over a little closer, but uh, it's really mind boggling that uh, nothing's Chris busted. Super Bash, so. uh, I'm back at home. Um, I just want to make you guys aware that the, that the M2C Racing uh, Goliath Series Italian chassis, uh, the final product is now uh, available. Um, so in any case, the first batch is probably going to sell out pretty darn quick. Um, I think these uh, just went on, just became available on the website today. Uh, but just so you guys know, the part number for that is right there. It's M2C 3010. And again, I'll put a link in the description. I also want to just make you guys aware that uh, Mitch decided to go ahead and start making some uh, 7075 4 millimeter thick skids. Um, again, the chassis, the chassis themselves are 7075 4 millimeter. But uh, anyway, I just want to show you guys here. This is uh, looks like it's a perfect fit. Um, he's also making these front skids too, which are really nice. Um, if you uh, if you're not running a, a front bumper. Or uh, if you want to just stack it on your bumper, you could do that. I've seen guys do that. Uh, but in any case, uh, just so you guys are aware, though, these skids really are designed to work with the Goliath Series chassis only uh, because the stock chassis, uh, as you might recall, the 3 millimeter stamped aluminum chassis, the stock Arma chassis, has these, these cutouts for your crown gear. So uh, basically, there's no cutout on these, so this would kind of wobble in place. Perhaps Mitch will make a version just for the stock chassis. So guys, one last thing I wanted to touch on, just kind of a build tip. When you guys are, uh, a couple guys uh, on the Facebook groups have had uh, like a little bit of an issue when they were putting their truck together. Um, just as a general reminder, do not fully tighten your hardware until you've got your, your stuff kind of lined up. So in any case, for the, these braces, these are the stock plastic ones that I took off immediately and replaced with the, the voltage ones. Um, but basically, because of the peg design with the V3 Italian chassis, it makes it a little trickier. Basically, you want to get your peg in, get your get your brace lined up first. Leave This is the rear of the truck, so you're going to leave your, your wing mount hardware loose in the back until you get the brace on and then go ahead and start feeding your bolts through and getting this sucker tightened up. And obviously, if you're going to use a metal brace, make sure you're using thread lock. Um, same thing with the front. The front's a little, the, the rear is really kind of self-explanatory and easy, but the front, what happens is, is when you go to put your brace into place, the top plate kind of gets in the way. So what you're going to do is either loosen your, loosen your, uh, your uh, top plate hardware um, or just put this on when the, basically attach this before you put the front end onto the truck. Um, but it just makes things a lot simpler. Again, what I'm saying is do not fully tighten your hardware till you got your braces in place. Then go ahead and cinch everything down. Another thing I wanted to point out, guys, is uh, he's also offering these, um, these aluminum uh, flat back wing washers. So um, anyway, if you guys are um, tired of having your uh, the hardware rip through your, your stock plastic wing nuts, just another great option here. And uh, he's also make Mitch has also come out with his own droop screws, and um, I've been using the Techno ones here. These screws, basically, um, as you guys might know, these uh, come up from underneath the arm, and instead of basically this protects the chassis, so that instead of let me flip this guy over, instead of having uh, the stock grub screw digging into your chassis plate it's better to have a button head style screw that comes up from the arm that makes contact with the chassis. Well, he, Mitch took it a step further with his. This has a larger, larger uh, flat surface area. So to put these in correctly though, you got to, it's easier if you have the, um, the front or rear end off the truck um, or just feed these through your A-arms before you start putting stuff together. Um, but what you'll do is with his, you're going to come up and you're actually going to screw counterclockwise and just have it screw up in until you until you get your droop adjusted. Um, and obviously, when you adjust your droop, the, the idea is that you don't want you want enough contact so that your arm doesn't come so far down it's actually pulling on your shock rod ends. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot, Mitch. Uh, huge shout out for uh, all your hard work. Um, I can't wait to get this uh, final version on my on my Italian. All right, guys. Till next time, late.